Hey, what's up folks? BQ here with the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on what is being discussed. Wrestling Observer has recently reported that three names, EC3, Bobby Lashley, and Eddie Edwards could be the next to leave Impact Wrestling. Now, I've done a video about EC3 previously, so I don't want to beat a dead horse too much. This is one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. I want to make it clear I do not want him to go anywhere, but I think it's very possible. These three guys are on guaranteed money deals. The company is looking to do per date deals, which really makes sense from a business uh, standpoint. To put someone on a uh, on a guaranteed salary contract, like we'll talk about James Storms for instance, where you know it was rumored around you know two hundred thousand a year you know he's making that and then going out and making whatever money he wants i mean that's better money than he's gonna make in wwe so and, and for really for a part-time product not really good look not really good for the books so i can really see where it makes a lot of sense from a business standpoint for per day deals if they're on tv if it's a live event if it's an autograph signing if it's um you know, at AAA crash, whatever. So there's opportunities for these per date deals to, to become something, um, financially for the wrestlers. And I know that the money that they make is better than the indie scene money by far, as far as when they appear on television. So there's still pretty decent money out there to be made, but as far as being on a salary deal where all you technically have to do is show over the impact tapings and then you're good to go. Probably, probably not real smart business. So with EC3, I have it on pretty good authority, folks. I'm not going to get into it at all because I have integrity. But I have it on very good authority that he's not happy. And as much as we want to keep him around and think that he needs to be a fixture going forward, you got to look at it like this. There was one point a couple years ago where we had the Hardys, um, EC3, Lashley, Kurt Angle, um, Shit, Sting, but it's been a, quite a few years since Sting's been gone. But, um, I mean, just a couple years ago, they had quite a few pretty strong names floating around over there. Still struggling with the viewership. Still struggling with attendance. Still struggling with online presence and marketing. So, you got to look at it from this standpoint, folks. These guys have been around for a while, haven't moved the needle. So, of course... New management's going to come in and say, okay, these guys, as talented as they are, and the fans love them, but they're not moving the needle. What can we do to bring people in who are going to move the needle? And I'm not saying you're going to find bigger stars in those guys, but the wrestling business is evolving. It is changing to a different style of wrestling, and maybe it's a different style of wrestler that they need to bring in. But EC3, I don't expect them to be there past Slammiversary. And it's unfortunate. It sucks. I'm not saying I want him to go anywhere, but I don't expect it. Bobby Lashley has said in shoot interviews that he would be choosing, he truly would be choosing between one of the two with MMA and wrestling. This makes sense at this point in his career, his age. He's done everything he could do in Impact Wrestling. And uh, obviously, you know, he hasn't been the grand champion and things of that nature, but that's kind of beneath him at this point. He is... As far as been a headliner, headlined Bound for Glory, Slammiversaries, I mean, he's, he's just done it all. And uh, again, another one I don't want to see go anywhere. He's, he's really probably the biggest name the company has, but has he moved the needle? And is it worth losing money to pay this guy? If you guys can understand what I'm talking about. You just got you to think like a businessman, folks. Eddie Edwards, you know, this was one I kind of heard previously, too. I really didn't know what to think about it. Um, I, I think many of us truly feel that he is too, again, another one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, but I think a lot of us feel that he is very, you know, too, you know, too vanilla, too plain for the WWE product. I mean, look at Mike Bennett struggling over there and he, uh, has a lot more charisma than Eddie Edwards does. So if any Ed Eddie Edwards goes anywhere. You know, I think a re return to Ring of Honor can make a lot more sense for him. But he might want to go chase that WWE dream like a lot of wrestlers do. But it just doesn't work out for a lot of people. And, we, you know, there's there's guys in the NBA 
you know, or basketball players, I should say, that say, hey, man, I can I can carve a really nice niche out for me overseas and, and you know, have a really nice living for my family. And I can be a featured player or I can play in the NBA, live my dream and sit at the end of the bench. So sometimes you have to look at it like that. And I don't think a lot of these wrestlers do. I think they all think we're going to sign over there and have our WrestleMania moment and within the next it was within the first 6 months. Doesn't always work out like that. I don't think Eddie Edwards is the type of wrestler that that works over there. And I know Kevin Edward, or Kevin Owens has been uh, advocating for him for a long time to go over there, kind of the way he recruited Mike Bennett. But you saw how that worked out. So We'll see what Eddie Edwards does, but Eddie is another guy who's who's we can honestly say he's done everything in Impact in the, in the short time. You know, could could we see him get another world title run? You know, everyone poo pooed on him the first time, so why would he why would he come back and do it again? He's doing really good things with the GHC title right now, but he's not a featured member of the roster on television. Someone pointed out uh, LB in a. Uh, the comments that it almost seems like once they start contracting guys out overseas to Noah and, and everything that they that it's a sign they're going to leave the company. And he pointed out Bram and and Robbie E. And I think there's a lot of concern. DJ Z is is uh, it's going to happen with DJ Z? I think it is. I think they're probably have a really good working relationship with these with DJ Z, and they're kind of writing out his contract. Um, booking him overseas, but I don't think they have anything for him on TV. Uh, and Andrew Everett's another guy that's been working with him, but I think Andrew Everett, you know, he wasn't at the Canada tapings, Canada, but I think he'll be back in Orlando. So we'll see what happens with that going forward. But it, but that's a very real possibility that they're writing out these guys' contracts um, out of respect and out of give, you know wanting to give them a payday and uh, booking them overseas. So we're going to see if that, you know, this all comes to fruition. But these are three guys, three main eventers who are not in the main event scene right now. So take that as you will. Dave Meltzer is the one reporting this. You guys can say whatever you want about Dave Meltzer. I don't like him. I don't care for him even a little bit. But I don't have the same uh, thoughts on him that a lot of people do. I don't think that he, you know, purposely puts out um, incorrect information. I think he purposely puts out negative information and doesn't follow up on it if he's incorrect. But I don't think he purposely, um, you know, I, I like to use the uh, KM sound clip. Are you calling me a liar when I talk about him? But I don't I don't necessarily think he's lying. I just think he knows his audience and he caters to that audience. We'll put it like that. But this has come for the Wrestling Observer Radio. And these could be the next three to go. And I can see it in all three instances. I don't think any of them is a must sign or a must re-sign. And I like all three of them. I just don't. Remember, just from a business standpoint, not as a fan, not as someone who's been watching Impact the last several years. From a business perspective, are these guys moving the needles with their large contracts right now? They're not. So it's time to go in a new direction. We're going to see what happens, folks. I, if I had to bet on two of them, I would say Lashley and EC3 are gone. Eddie Edwards kind of decide, you know, kind of depends on what they promise him and what happens with his wife if she, if she is sticking around and, and how that's going to pan out. Thanks for listening, guys. It is very early for me right now. I haven't really had the time to do a whole lot on the channel lately. Um, I'm on my way to work back at my civilian job. So it's early, but I wanted to drop this video on you guys. And uh, please hit the subscribe button. And let me know what you think in the comments. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.